7 billion barrels of oil found in Jamaica, the hidden truth. What if I told you that a massive oil reserve was discovered in Jamaica, like enough black gold to make Saudi Arabia jealous? But here's the kicker, it was kept a secret, a dirty, disgusting secret. Today, we're diving headfirst into the conspiracy pool. We're talking shady backroom deals, whispers of government cover-ups, and enough evidence to make your head spin. 7 billion barrels of oil, guys, that's not a typo, 7 billion barrels hidden beneath the Paradise Island just waiting to be exploited. Stay with me, okay? This is where it gets really real, really fast. It all started back in year... Nobody really knows the exact date, which is shady as hell already, right? Anyway, word on the street was that some geologists were doing their thing, drilling around, you know, science stuff. But then, bam, they hit something big, huge like life-changingly huge. It wasn't just some small-time oil pocket, guys. This was a full-blown mother load, we're talking generational wealth kind of discovery. Seven billion barrels. I mean, can you even imagine that much oil? It's insane. This should have been front page news, international headlines, the whole shebang, but crickets, nothing. Why, you might be asking? Why wouldn't this be the biggest news ever? Well, that's what we're gonna find out. Buckle up, because things are about to get shady AF. Okay, so we're talking 7 billion barrels of oil here. That's not just some random number, guys. This could have transformed Jamaica like overnight. We're talking economic boom, jobs galore, the whole nine yards. Schools, hospitals, roads. Everything could have been brand spanking new. Imagine Jamaica, a global powerhouse. No more struggling economy, no more poverty. This oil money could have changed everything for the Jamaican people. But instead, it's like this massive secret, this hidden treasure chest that nobody's allowed to touch. And you want to know why? Because someone decided it was better that way. Someone decided to keep all that wealth, all that potential, locked away from the people who needed it most. Now you might be thinking, Shane, you're being extra. There's no way they could hide something this big. Oh, honey, underestimate the government at your own peril. Luckily, I have receipts. Remember those geologists I mentioned? They weren't about to stay quiet. Leaked documents, hushed whispers at conferences, even some brave souls speaking out directly. The evidence is out there, all pointing to the same thing. Jamaica sitting on a gold mine, or should I say, an oil mine. But every time someone tries to bring it up, they get shut down. The politicians dodge the questions and the documents. They mysteriously disappear. It's like trying to catch a greased piglet. But we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Chapter 4. So, who's behind this massive cover-up? Why go through all this trouble to keep 7 billion barrels of oil a secret? Well, follow the money, honey. Big oil, corrupt politicians, international pressure. It's a tangled web of greed and power. Think about it. If Jamaica starts pumping out oil, who loses? The big players, the ones who control the market, the ones who don't want any competition. And what better way to silence a competitor before they even start, than to make sure nobody knows they exist? It's a tale as old as time. The powerful, exploiting the vulnerable, lining their own pockets while the rest of the world struggles. But we're not going to let them get away with it, are we? Chapter 5. A Stolen Future Think about what Jamaica could have become. With that oil money they could have invested in education, healthcare, infrastructure, they could have lifted themselves out of debt, created jobs, and secured a brighter future for generations to come. But instead they were robbed robbed of their opportunity, their resources, their chance to thrive. It's heartbreaking, guys. It's like finding out you won the lottery and then having someone snatch the ticket right out of your hands. And the worst part, most people in Jamaica don't even know what they've lost. They're living in the dark, unaware of the potential that's been stolen from them. But we're here to shine a light on the truth, no matter how much they try to hide it. Chapter 6. Whistleblowers and Whispers. It's not just me, guys. There are people out there risking their careers, their reputations, even their lives to expose this truth. I've spoken to some of them off the record, of course. They're former government officials, oil industry insiders, people who've seen the documents, heard the conversations, witnessed the cover-up firsthand. And they're all saying the same thing. This is real. This is happening. They're risking everything to get this information out there, and we need to listen. We need to amplify their voices, share their stories, and demand accountability. Chapter 7. Reclaiming the Truth So what happens now? 
We know the truth, but what can we do about it? Talk about it. Share this video, tell your friends, make some noise. The more people who know, the harder it will be to keep it under wraps. Demand transparency and accountability. Justice for Jamaica. It's time to take a stand. We deserve the truth. Outro the fight for Jamaica. We've uncovered a lot today, guys. We've exposed the lies, connected the dots, and faced the uncomfortable truth. The truth is out. It's time to hold those in power accountable. Jamaica deserves justice. This isn't the end, guys. It's just the beginning.